Hey everybody, it's Mingo Mariano for another episode of the Mingo Mariano podcast show con lo más caliente y lo más reciente. We're catching up with Latin Grammy nominee, Tejano Music Award winner, Stephanie Montiel. You don't want to miss it. We're going to have a great show coming up for you. And who knows, a special guest may be in the house tonight. Did somebody say, stay tuned because you're listening to the Mingo Mariano podcast show con lo más caliente y lo más reciente. Caliente como la arena en la playa cuando el sol está brillando. This is fire. This is hot. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, keyword Mingo Mariano. There you'll find our latest podcasts and up close episodes. And don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at Mingo Mariano. So uh, it's the Mingo Mariano podcast show. We're doing something a little bit different this time here. We're going to have some... Uh, Red couch talk. You you I think we could do that, right? I'm loving this vibe. You're loving the vibe. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, mis amigos, we are here with uh, Tejano Music Award winner, Latin Grammy nominee, La Dueña Stephanie Montiel. Stephanie, you know what? Hit the bell. Let's hit the bell. Stephanie okay. Montiel. There I, we go. I, and I got to I got to add Grammy nominee also. Grammy <laughs> nominee also. So welcome. Hey, thank you. Are Thanks you for having me. Excited to be here. Of course. This I'm, is this is always so much fun. Every time we come and do something with you, I know that it's going to be, you know, something out of the ordinary and you always surprise me with something new. So this is this is really fun. Oh, there you go. Well, I'm glad that you're here. But uh, for those of you tuning in, she didn't come alone because uh, Gabe is here. What's up, Hello, Gabe? Everyone. <laughs> Hola, everyone. <laughs> He's on the couch with us. Uh-oh. Right. <laughs> so, um, again, Relax Vibe. We're going to talk about the new album, Amor Super Natural. It's doing really well for you guys. It's out on digital platforms, Spotify, iTunes, and uh, CD Baby. Where else can they find it? Uh, Google Play, um, Pandora, PlayStation Network. Gabe's got it everywhere. This guy, I tell you what, he's, everywhere. he's making this thing available Seriously, like not just um, national, not in, just international, international, but intergalactic. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? I missed that. What did he say? We said the same thing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That means you two are connected in more than one level, oh, right? You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, the album is out and it's doing really well for you guys. There's 13 tracks on there. So I figured we can kind of talk about some of your favorite tracks on the album. I know you have a lot. And then we can kind of kick into the reviews on what the fans thought about the album. And uh, I know you're a little nervous about that, but <laughs> it's all good fun. So tell us about how long the production took from, of course, the follow-up to um, your last album, La Dueña. Well, we've been working on um, some of these songs, actually, when we were working on the La Dueña album. So it's been close to three years that we've been working on, on some of the album. And, um, you know, we're really excited to finally have it out. We worked tirelessly. I mean, I, this one had, you know, really, really took a toll, I think, on both Gabe and I. And um, I was a lot more involved with this album. Mm-hmm. Um, I spent countless days and hours and nights and uh, just lots of time in the studio with him on this one. I really wanted to kind of get it, get my hands dirty and, and really just, um, be a bigger part of, of the album. You know, I didn't want to just sing a song and you know, that was it. I wanted to kind of get, get down to the nitty gritty. You know? Right. <laughs> the question that we got, were there any, um, were there any special guests involved, any musicians that, that contributed to the album or did, did you guys do everything on the album? Well, you know Gabe. Gabe pretty much does everything, but uh, <laughs> we also had our band uh, come in and, and, and work on some songs. So Christina Hinojosa, our drummer, played on there. Ariel Hinojosa, her cousin, is our bass player, and he played on there as well. Um, you know, my sister Sasha is always mm-hmm. there doing, you know, all the background vocals with us. And, of course, Gabe did background vocals. Gabe played um, pretty much everything as well. Like, you know, some songs featured um, our, our band and some Gabe kind of took care of on his own. We had Fabian Hernandez, who's um, he was he played with Jay Perez. He's played with um, uh, Ruben Ramos, and um, he's been on on tour, you know, world na- worldwide. He's he's an incredible talent, um, you know, to our industry. And uh, he was featured on El Amor, um, saxophone on that one. Um, 
Oh, and La Comadre. My yes. favorite. <laughs> I love that one too. <laughs> on there, La Comadre. And speaking of that, that's actually um, track number five on the CD, La Comadre. Where did that come from? That is such a <laughs> funny song, and and uh, you guys are laughing. Why? Why? What's so funny about it? You're gonna have to talk with me, Gabriel, because you had so much to do with this. But um, go ahead, because I love I love listening to his his. Uh, no. <laughs> You, you, that was too much of a setup right there. <laughs> I can't handle the pressure. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, La Comadre, um, well, you know, when, when Steph and I started picking songs for the album, um, I asked her, I was like, what kind of vibe do you want? Like, are there any songs that you want to, you know, have a certain effect on people or whatever? So I said, you don't have to give me, you know, exact ideas. Just tell me, like, more or less how you want people to feel. And on this particular one, she said she wanted one that was fun and cutesy. Mm. So I had, uh, you know, the title up on the Pro Tools session that said fun and cutesy. So that was my interpretation of fun and cutesy, La Comadre. And uh, I hope that I, I kind of got close to the mark there. For me, I was envisioning, you know, we all have that friend that when we go out, they just get a little too crazy. <laughs> who's, who's your friend? <laughs> I can't say she should kill me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he or she yeah we point. have a couple boy guys and girls no one's no one's immune hey I'm not immune because I could I'm that friend sometimes <laughs> <laughs> don't go anywhere because we'll be back with more right here on the Mingo Mariano podcast show con lo mas caliente y lo mas reciente hey everyone don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel keyword Mingo Mariano there you'll find all the episodes of Up Close with Mingo Mariano and our podcast shows so tell everyone to subscribe today at Mingo Mariano Los dos sabemos que fue el destino 
are supposed to be there, right? <laughs> we'll talk about that later. <laughs> Welcome back to the Mingo Mariano podcast show con lo más caliente, lo más reciente in the studio or on the couch. We're really relaxed. I have Grammy nominated, <laughs> Latin Grammy, the Hanna Music Award winner, Stephanie Montiel. We're talking about her latest project, Amor Super Natural. It's out. Go out and get it. Who came up with the name of the album? We both <laughs> did. Uh, Gabriel wrote the song Amor Supernatural, and uh, I I fell in love with it. I just fell in love with the concept of of the song and and you know finding a love that's just unlike any other. And, and it's like you know when you find that love, it's like a, a love that you know you it's it, it's incomparable. It's incomparable to anything that you've had before. So mm-hmm. um, that's really what this song talks about. And it's just a love that like this girl's telling this guy. You know you're not gonna find you're not gonna find any, anyone like me. So why don't you give it a try and, and, and you'll see. <laughs> so it's 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 a cool concept. And then not only that, but Amor Supernatural also kind of signifies for me um, a supernatural type of love fr- from God. Mm-hmm. And, and that's like for me, it's 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 very important. And God is super important in my life and, and you know, in, in everything that we do. And so I, uh, you know, it kind of has a double meaning. And I just thought that it was really fitting for the album because, right. you know, we wouldn't be doing this and uh, without these gifts that we've received from God. So. If you're just tuning in, Stephanie Montiel here along with Gabe Savala right here on the Mingo Mariano podcast show talking about the new album Amor Supernatural. It's out on all digital platforms, so be sure to go out and download it today. Let's talk a little bit about the reviews. Let's talk about them um, on iTunes that uh, that a lot of the, uh, the fans have posted, and we'll start with a couple of them here. Um, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kevin Imrod says, uh, by the way, five stars. Love, love hearing the horns on the songs. Great album. Be proud of yourselves. Yay! Yay! A good one. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. That that's that's awesome. I mean, yeah, we wanted to kind of, you know, like I said, we we want to add different elements into what we do, and we don't want to keep putting out the same album and and the same, you know, the same kind of. Right. Yeah, like sounds and, and things like that. We want to switch it up. And so we figured that putting some horns in this one would be a lot of fun and give it a little bit of a twist. And so. And before we continue too much further, I'd like to like for all the fans that do take time to go to iTunes and leave a comment that takes a that takes a lot of like just um, I, I don't know, like it takes a lot because I check out, you know, a lot of. Tejano albums on iTunes and stuff Mm -hmm. and not a lot of people leave comments on Tejano CDs if you go to pop and country man there's hundreds of thousands of comments but for some reason or raza they don't like to get on iTunes and leave comments I told Steph you know what you need to be really um proud of that because the fact that your fans are taking the time out of their schedules to First of all, get onto iTunes and then log in and then leave a comment and mm-hmm. then for it to be so positive, you know they really want you to hear that message and read that message. Right. So um, for everyone that did take the time to leave a comment, we really, really appreciate it and we thank you guys so much. Right. Let's keep reading the comments from Giselle Fernandez, Perfection. She says, the album is emoji fire, fire, fire. She's the emojis. <laughs> um, it's perfect for every Tejano fan out there. It's got a little old school, a little new, and of course, cumbias. For hey. all of you who love to dance, uh, Stephanie is the Tejano goddess. Aww. And the platinum proves, oh, I'm sorry, and the album proves it. You will not be disappointed. Wow. Uh, Mafioso 80. This one's an interesting comment. Uh, I really love and appreciate that every album Stephanie releases has a different sound than the previous ones. Hey, take that uh, BK Sox 3, right? Yes, you know, yes. Uh, <laughs> he continues to say, I've been a fan for years and can truly say that I've enjoyed listening to her evolve as a true artist in the oh. industry. Hoping this album and year brings you much success and uh, and to you and you truly deserve it. La Dueña means something ser- some serious business, and that's mm-hmm. from Mafioso eighty. Heck yeah, that's awesome! Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much for that. Like, I mean, and this this is why we you know for people like th- like that that truly listen and that go through and and appreciate the hard work and effort that we put into to our music and into our our, our lyrics and into. Um, you know, the vocals, the instrumentation. I mean, it's for them. It's right. for those people right there. El Vidal in Florida says, ask her if she's got some videos coming out from one of her new songs on her latest album. I think she should do a video for 
Extraño tu amor. Extraño tu amor. That's my... F okay, so I, okay. I, I got it. <laughs> that one's like out of the ranch. I mean, I love all the songs, but for some reason, this song just hits my heart. Like, I love this song. Like, this is... Um, when we were deciding on trying to release songs off of the album, that was my first pick for the ranchera. Like that was the first single that I wanted to release because I thought it had such a, such a cool like um, you know old school sound, but it was still modern in a way. Um, and I, I love it. I love Extraño Tu Amor so much. But yes, videos. Yes, yes, yes. Again, if you're tuning in, Stephanie Montiel, Gabe Zavala in the studio. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back right here on the Mingo Mariano podcast show con lo más caliente. Y lo más reciente. Oh. Oh. Con lo más caliente, lo más reciente, in the studio, or on the couch. How many times have I said that? Or on the couch. I, you know, this on the couch thing is like so You like cool. it, yeah. I lo I'm like so digging this vibe. You guys don't even know. Mingo like <laughs> has candles lit, like he's got the fan on. I'm about to fall. Gabe, I'm surprised Gabe hasn't <laughs> fall fallen asleep. <laughs> That's all it takes. You turn on the fan and he's out like there a light. You go. <laughs> Stephanie Montiel, Gabe Zavala in the studio here tonight. Um talking about the new album Amor Super Super Natural. Yeah. Uh, of course, go out and get it today. Download on all digital platforms. Um, Juanita in <laughs> Florida. She's a fan to the shows and I know I you know Juanita, Juanita in Florida. Um, hopefully she'll be making it for a fanfare this year next month. She yeah. says, does she think there'll be another performance with Las Tres Divas? Stephanie, Shelly, and Elida. 
la cumbia de oeste, emoji mm. fire. Hey, es la cumbia del oeste, <laughs> que quiere bailar contigo. That was such a blast, like, oh my gosh, like, great memories, great times, so much fun, and um, just really one of the best times of my life. I mean, I think Gabe and I just had, and, Sa I mean, and Sasha, Sasha went on the tour with us mm -hmm. as well, and we, you know, we went overseas. Um, you know, sharing the stage with the girls was so awesome. Um, you know, something unlike anything that's ever been done in our industry. And as much as I'd love to, you know, to think that it could happen, um, it hasn't happened yet. Yeah. And, you know, you never know, though. Uh, you know, things change. And, you know, as we get older, it's like, you know, life is just too short to, to not have a great time and, and enjoy the things that you've done in the past with, with people that, um, you know, just had some special chemistry together. And I think the three of us really did. Yeah. Um, it was, it was a lot of fun, you know, like Shelly does, a, a, you know, great at, at country music. And she was able to kind of bring that to, to the show. And Elida does more of like the mariachi stuff. And, and she brought that to the show. And, and I prefer to do like a lot of like the pop music. And so we each brought different elements, but they all worked together. Right. And it was so cool to be able to sing harmonies for each other and, and, you know, intertwine what we were doing and, and make it just a, a show that was, You know, I mean, if, if anyone out there has seen some of some of the footage that was taken, um, like Okinawa was one of the biggest shows that we did. And you should have seen the audience was just I mean, they were loving it because yeah. we played a little bit of everything. Well, we want to thank you for stopping Thanks. by. Hope thank you guys you. had a lot of fun. I know I did. I did, too. I love being on your couch. So let's let's do this again <laughs> soon. Again, go out and get the new album Amor Supernatural. It's available on all digital platforms. Again, Steph, Gabe, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for having us. This was a really awesome interview. And um, thanks for all the awesome questions. And for all your fans that are um, tuning in, thank you guys for tuning in to Mingo and supporting what he's doing. And uh, yeah, keep supporting Every single Tejano artist out there, keep following and leaving comments on iTunes. It's very nice of you. And uh, thanks for supporting. And yes, Mingo, you know what? Thank you so much for what you do. I know you put a lot of work into, you know, everything. And not just the podcast, but, you know, the up close and personals. I mean, you don't see very many people out there doing what you do and mm -hmm. devoting the time and effort and um, that really know our industry and take the time to you know, to, to know what's going on and, and to right. really, um, you know, make the artist feel special. I appreciate your kind words, too. <laughs> That's going to wrap it up for us, guys. Again, don't forget to follow us on social media at Mingo Mariano. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to check out Up Close with Stephanie Mondale. It's out there. Check it out. It makes me cry. Yes. <laughs> Get the tissue. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Yeah,